First, there was Mr. Shelvin. After a courageous 55 minutes on the job, he landed in the hospital with a nervous breakdown. Then, there was Miss Appleton, ending a 20-year career after just 12 minutes with the grade 8 English class. And now, a new substitute teacher dares to enter the upper Redwood High Halls. His name? Mr. Dickey! <laughs> Is he tough enough? Does he have what it takes? Let's just see how long it'll take before the great seveners rip him to shreds. <laughs> Place your bets now, fellow prisoners, before it's too late. This is the Kevin Calvin Show, and <clears throat> I'm Morgan Lee. Coming up next on our show... Angus, we have to do something about this. Yes, if we don't place our bets now, we'll never win. Angus! <laughs> I am not talking about the substitute. You're not? No, I am talking about our young, wayward student, Kevin Calvin. Oh. He's missed his show for the third time this week. Youth. If this continues, I will finally get to... I mean, have to fail him. Noel, Kevin isn't all that bad. I remember when I was his age. <laughs> Pressures of school were practically unbearable. I I'm sure he's going through a tough time. I bet he's feeling guilty about letting his team down. Why, I'm sure he's feeling absolutely miserable right now. Hey! <laughs> you more of friends? Yes, friends! <laughs> friends! <laughs> A guy who's about to die. <laughs> well, that's our show for today. Be sure to tune in tomorrow when... Who knows? Maybe even the host of the show will be <laughs> hosting the show. Have a great day, fellow prisoners. It's not so much that I've uh, just replaced you again. It's the fact that you don't even seem to know that you've done anything wrong. Look at you sitting there all happy and cozy. Did you ever think about me for like one second? You know, Kevin, I just can't cover your tracks anymore. Are you listening to me? Have you ever thought of becoming a model? <laughs> oh, you are such a selfish, dweeby, jerky loser. <laughs> Do you really think I could be a model? <sighs> Baby, probably even a supermodel. <laughs> oh, oh, I cannot believe that you're trying to compliment me to get out of this. You know, Kevin, do you know that Miss Atoll is going to fail you if you miss one more show? Huh? Honestly, I don't know why I even bother covering for you anymore. I used to think that we were friends, but uh, I'm starting to think I was wrong. Yeah, you are wrong, Morgan. Look, I gotta tell you something, and I don't exactly know how. And I've, I've tried to deny it, <laughs> how I tried, but uh, it didn't work. What are you talking about? I'm talking about love. <laughs> love, okay. So who's the lucky one this time? All right, you forced me to confess. It's you. What? Sunder. Me? Yes, you. The reason I've been missing so many shows is that it's, uh, it's too painful to be around you. <laughs> Knowing that you will never love me back. Kevin, I... I had no idea. Just, Morgan, promise me that you will never, ever mention this. And I promise you that I will never miss another show. Weird. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs>
Forgive me my behavior. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I forgive you, sure. Uh, um, maybe, maybe we should talk about this. Shh, bit. Morgan. <laughs> I think it's best if we said nothing. All right, oh, sure, okay. <laughs> yes, I... Ah, yeah. Shh. Calvin, you are a master. Mm. I'm telling you, George, if Mayor McCheese eats a cheeseburger, that doesn't make him a cannibal. Hey, 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 hey. Kevin, Kevin, you're alive. Morgan was so mad this morning, we thought you were a dead man. Oh, that. Ugh. I just uh, poured on the Kevin Calvin chart and she backed off. <laughs> Kevin, I don't know how you do that. All I had to do was promise Morgan that I'd be more responsible and never miss another show. Great. Way to go, Kev. So. Will you replace me tomorrow? What? Well, I have a big date. Oh, sure I'll replace you. Who's the girl and where am I taking her? <laughs> Not on the date, you knob. I need you to replace me here on my show. So you want me to fill in for you while you go on a date? Yes. Whoa, 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 uh, whoa, 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 wait what? a second. Who would elect a cheeseburger as mayor anyway, huh? Would you shut up with the cheeseburgers? So, who's the girl? The woman, excuse me, boys. The woman is Wendy Gwendolyn. Wendy, Wendy Gwendolyn? Yes. How did you get her to go on a date with you? Well, technically she doesn't know about it yet. What? Well, it's not exactly a date, but... I did find out that she's working down at the mall at lunchtime tomorrow, so I'm gonna go and, you know, ask her out then. Wow, you're actually gonna talk to Wendy Gwendolyn. <laughs> so you'll do it, you'll fill in? All right, I'll do it. Amazing, you are a real pal, Ethan. Yes. I will do it. Woo! I can't do it. <laughs> what? Why not? Morgan will kill me. And besides, if a tool finds out, she'll fail you. Well... Suppose nobody finds out. What? I do have a plan. Oh, no. No way, pal. I'm not going to disguise myself up as a nun, kidnap Morgan and Atoll, <laughs> steal a private jet, fly them to Switzerland, and hold them against their will in the corner for two years just so you can get some girl's phone number. <laughs> it's not the plan, huh? No, no. The plan is that Ethan will pretend to be me. I will. Yes. But how? Well, first of all, we've got to work on your impersonation of me. Uh, okay, okay, let me try. Let me okay, try. Okay. Uh, duh. <laughs> That's uncanny. That's very, very funny. Now try for real. Repeat after me. Uh, good morning, fellow students. Good morning, fellow students. A bit lower. Good morning, fellow students. A bit higher. higher. Oh, try like this. Good morning, fellow students. I'm Kevin Calvin. Yeah. Like George, how did you do that? Do that again. I'm Kevin Calvin. I'm not at the mall. I'm here doing the show. Okay. Now. George, all you have to do is keep your head down. Ethan, you gotta make sure that nobody comes into the booth. No problem, boss. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, wait a minute, where's the script? I got it right here. Okay. Wrote it last night. All right. <laughs> all right. Good luck, guys. Are you ready, George? I'm Kevin Calvin saying, ready. <laughs> have a good time, huh? Oh, I will. <laughs> It's time, George. It's time for the Kevin Calvin Show, everyone. I'm Kevin Calvin. I have a great show for you today, but before I start, I'd just like to say that Ethan St. John is the coolest guy in the school. <laughs> I'm proud to have him as my best friend. <laughs> now, on with the show.
In sports last night, the Upper Redwood Rockets beat the Lower Greenwood Gunners 3-1. to one. I'll be back with more details after Come this. <laughs> Glad to hear you're back on the air. Good idea to start the show with the sports. I like it. Keep up the good work. <laughs> The new substitute. <laughs> Morgan, here you are. Let's go for lunch. Come on. Okay, I'm just getting my stuff. Uh, so has uh, has Kevin's show started yet? Yeah, I just heard some of it. He sounds really weird today. <laughs> I think I know why. Tanya, what would you do if somebody told you something that you did not want to hear, but you know, somehow you already knew, but you didn't want to know, and then when you didn't know for sure, you didn't know what to do? <gasps> Kevin's in love with you? <laughs> You're good. <laughs> it's a talent. Well, it's really weird. You know, he told me yesterday he was really intense. Oh, that's so romantic. So, do you feel the same way? <laughs> no. No. No, he's so, um, not me. Anyways, I could never go out with a guy whose idea of classic literature is, what, an early issue of Archie's Digest? <laughs> oh, yeah. Each other. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you tell him that? Well, I tried to, but he got all sad and depressed. He didn't want to talk about it. He asked me never to bring it up. Oh, Morgan, this is bad. These things can get out of hand so quickly. I mean, if he thinks you still like him, he'll go on hoping for something. But if you never talk to him, he knows how messed up his mind will get. You have to clear things up right now before it's too late. <sighs> okay, fine, okay, here. Take this, I'm going to talk to him right now. <laughs> That tune goes out to Ethan St. John, who, by the way, is a god. Cha. <laughs> oh my gosh, Tanya, you're right. He's losing his mind. <laughs> Sorry, man. You can't go in there. <laughs> what? Move, Ethan. Kevin doesn't want to see anyone, especially you. Oh, this is worse than I thought. Move it on out, Missy. <laughs> Don't make me squirt you. Oh. Whoa, Ethan, please, this is really important. I've only been there for a second. You can't go in there. Kevin told me not to let anyone in, so if I were you, I'd just leave. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> okay, fine, Ethan. I'll go. By the way, how come you're not at the gym? <laughs> the gym? Why would I be at the gym? Oh, well, because... All the Baywatch babes are there today. <laughs> Baywatch babes? I, I don't believe you. Yeah, yeah, they're, uh, they're all over there right now in their bathing suits. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm -hmm. No, it's, and apparently, they're giving out advice on financial portfolios. <laughs> That's three, two, and one. My dream is finally come true! Kevin? Hi. Listen, um, I know that you don't really want to talk about this right now, but there's something that I have to say. Well, Angus, I suppose you were right. Kevin somehow pulled through. He's not doing a bad job today, either. Yes, 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 he's doing a great job. As a matter of fact, I just told him so a few moments ago. I'm in the hallway. So I think that the best thing for you to do is to just... just get over me and move on. Because I... I don't want to lose you as a friend, okay? Okay? Are you all right? Is anybody here? Oh, let's miss a tall fish sheet on. You won't be able to cover up for Kevin this time, Morgan. I know he's not here. Yes, he is. Look. There is no one there. I knew it. 
Morgan, why do you protect him? Mr. Tull, he's in there, I swear. Stop! Wait! What is it, Ethan? <laughs> what are you doing? Just waving hello. Hi. Hello. What is going on here? Nothing. Wait! What? Uh, I have to show you something. This had better be good. Okay. <laughs> Look. It's a pen. <laughs> it's a flying pen. <laughs> hello, Mr. Pen. Hello, Ethan. <laughs> How are you doing? Would you like to do the happy dance? Sure. <laughs> Otherwise, it's bad luck. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Tall. Damn! This is ridiculous. <laughs> no, you, you can't. Kevin, what are you doing? Mr. Tall is here to see you. <laughs> Hello, Morgan. George! Well, where's. Oh, I cannot believe that jerk. Let me in. Uh, no. <laughs> He's on the air. Oh? Uh huh. I'm Kevin Calvin, and you're listening to Radioactive. Oh. <laughs> See, he really is on the air, so um, I guess you can go back to your, your busy schedule. But, but Mr. Noseworthy told me that he saw Kev... <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Carry on. Goodbye, Mr. Tall. <laughs> you lied to me about the Baywatch babes. Oh, really? And I can't believe that you lied to me about Kevin. Why isn't he here? I can't tell you that. Okay, fine. George will. Don't tell her, George! Okay! Whoa! I'm leaving. Okay? But, um... Before I go, I'm surprised you're not at the library. <laughs> the library? What? Oh, no! I'm not gonna fall for another one of your lies! You can't fool me twice! Okay, but you're gonna miss Urkel. He's uh, signing his new autobiography today. How to become a rich geek? Here at the library? Mm hmm Yeah, right. He'll be playing his accordion. <laughs> uh, I'm not telling you anything. I promised Kevin I wouldn't tell. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. George, you're absolutely right. Promise is a promise. I respect that. <laughs> all right, all right, you dragged it out of me. <laughs> Kevin went to ask Wendy Gwendolyn out. Wendy Gwendolyn? Oh. Oh, oh, I can't believe that. I am so stupid. I actually believe the stuff that he told me. George, you really had me going. I really thought that you were Kevin. What is that, anyway? It's the script. Ethan wrote it. Can you ever look at that for one second? Sure. You know, this script could use a few changes. Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Dickey! You have to come out sometime! <laughs> the students won't bother you anymore! the blow darts, and I retrieved your hairpiece. Mr. Dickey! Mr. Dickey! Well, I'll go get some cheese. Maybe we can lure him out. He's not a mouse, Noel. <laughs> He's certainly not a man. <gasps> Tell him to look for Miss Appleton while he's in there. <laughs> Mr. Dickey! Mr. Dickey! Kevin? <laughs> About today's show, I'd like to say... Yeah, yes, Mr. Noseworthy? ...that it was very interesting. I must say, you're a, a brave young man. <laughs> brave? Hey, Tanya! How's your game? Did you... Whoa, what, uh... What's wrong? You seem a little bit, uh... What's wrong? Oh, nothing's wrong. Oh, by the way... Nice show today, Kevin. 
<laughs> oh, great. Where's Ethan? And that's it for the show today. I'm Kevin Calvin, and you've been listening to Radioactive. And now, more polka music! <laughs> polka? George? What's going on? Tanya's all mad at me. At <laughs> Hi, Kevin. How was Wendy? Oh, <laughs> what you said about the student body on the show today. Sniveling idiots. <laughs> Wimpy geeks. Dutch Kowalski is a what? You should see what you said about the football team. <laughs> Page three, paragraph two. The football team. Oh, no, 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 Morgan, why? No, why? I apologize to the students, to the football team, to the janitor. I promised to Dutch Kowalski I'd do his homework for two months. Is anyone I'm forgetting? Kevin, I heard what you said on the radio today. Oh, no, I can explain. <laughs> I can't tell you how pleased I am that you volunteered to bathe the elderly at the hospital. <gasps> and every Saturday night for the rest of the year? <laughs> Kevin... No idea. You were so caring. <laughs> Neither did I. Well, I guess we'll be working together. I volunteer on Saturday nights as well. <laughs> I guess I'll see you then. <laughs> Morgan, how could you do this? You know that cranky old people make me nervous. Kevin, actually, those people at the hospital are probably very nice. I'm talking about Miss Atoll. Uh, there is one person that you uh, haven't apologized to just yet. Oh, no. Who? <laughs> Me! Oh, you're right. Morgan, I am... I'm sorry. I was a jerk. I was wrong. I shouldn't have lied to you. Let's just... Let's just be friends again, okay? Okay. Okay. So, will you come with me to the hospital? <laughs> You know, I'd love to help you, Kevin, but it's going to be too hard for me to be in the same room as you when I know that you will never love me back. Morgan, you lied to me again! Yeah, guess what, Ethan? They're giving away free money at the bank. <laughs> well, Kevin, at least everything went horribly wrong. <laughs> Not uh, completely, Georgie. It was all worth it. You see, what I have here is something that very, very few people have managed to obtain. Wendy Gwendolyn gave me her number. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. You have reached the office of Miss Noella Tall. For test results, press one. Detentions, press two. Suspensions, press three. Expulsions, press <laughs>